Hey guys, welcome to another one's home review. Today I'm going to try one of these new, um, new Hot Pockets. This one is a bold, big and bold. It says it's 50% larger um, as compared with the standard Hot Pockets with 18 grams of protein per sandwich. This one is the Buffalo Style Chicken. It is with spicy buffalo sauce and a reduced fat cheddar cheese and a buffalo blasted crust. Um, one sandwich is, I think that's for both. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll see you in a second. We bought these at Kroger. They were $3.69 uh, for two sandwiches, which I don't think that's too awfully bad. One sandwich is 191 grams. So um, 390 calories, which that's not bad for a double size or 50% bigger um, hot pocket. I don't think that's too bad. There's your other information for you. So we're going to, can you do these in the oven? I don't see any oven. Microwave oven only or microwave directions. So we're going to remove the sandwich and insert in the crisping sleeve, just like every Hot Pocket. Heat on high for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And then let it sit for 2 minutes to complete cooking and then enjoy. And then, oh, there's a conventional oven. You can actually bake it too, if you want to. So, um, of course, we're going to, we're going to do the microwave. We don't, we don't do ovens. Definitely a bigger sandwich. Um, there's the top. So I'm going to unwrap the plastic wrap, put the Hot Pocket into the sleeve, and I'm going to put it on a paper plate because it always leaks out of the end. Who wants to make a mess in their microwave? So I'm going to put it on a paper plate, get in the microwave for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and I'll be back. Alright, so here it is on the microwave. I let it set for 2 minutes, and I just cut it in half just so you can see what it looked like. By the way, explosion on one end. You see how it blew out? And um, the paper plate got 90% of it. A little bit of it got on the microwave uh, tray, like the rotating tray, but this is what it looks like inside. Um, I do have to say that the bread on the bottom and the side seems a little hard. We'll, we'll see when I try it out, but um, it seems a little hard on the edges, so I'll let you know. So I'm going to cut this into smaller bite-sized pieces just so it's easier to eat on camera and it cools off a little quicker. And I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off, but I cut it into these like squares. The ends, by the way, like the end, if you're using a plastic fork at work, forget cutting through that end because it's not cut. I, I have a regular knife and I was having a hard time sawing through that. So the ends are very, very hard. Maybe if you drop your, uh, you have to adjust your microwave to your, to your microwave, your time to your microwave. Um, I probably could have went a little bit shorter, maybe 320 or 310 and it would have been better. But uh, yeah, kind of hard on the end. So here we go. Not bad. It's spicy. I'll tell you that much. It has the texture of like a like a chili, like a hot dog chili. It's kind of the texture it has on the inside. Very very spicy though. So if you don't like spicy, you wouldn't like this at all. The bread is kind of tough, and the flavors literally taste like hot dog chili with some um, some buffalo sauce in it. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, it's okay. I'm not really super impressed with the with the crust or the breading. And uh, the inside is just okay. It's kind of a, I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily like the texture of the inside. I don't mind the flavor, although it's really just, you get buffalo and that's it. That's all you taste in the whole thing. Um, I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's an okay sandwich. If you like a little bit bigger piece, then, then go for it. Try it out. If you like something spicy, I would try it out. But uh, for me, eh, it's just okay. kind of tough on the edges so anyway hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching